But the truth of the matter is, the responsibility of being the President of the United States is so much deeper. You have to have a level of empathy that we have never seen in the White House. And I knew that Tulsi had this. When I, I you all know, I interviewed her yesterday. She came over and we talked before, and I hope she's okay with me asking, telling you all this. I saw a speech from her in 2012, and it was just as powerful, but it was different. She was commanding. She was demanding. Everything that, like, a Debbie Washington Schultz would love to have as a vice chief, you know? But it, she's different now. She still is just, she's just as powerful, but she is more inquisitive, trying to understand your needs, trying to understand what the country needs, and is almost asking you, as she's talking to you, what do you think is best for this country? Because I want to know. And when I asked her, I'm like, what in your life changed? It had to be something. And she said, you know, it's just over the last few years, I've been peeling back all the different layers trying to understand all these different things that I didn't understand about life, correcting all the lies that we've been told. And at that point, I was like, oh, she's, she's, she's real. This is a real person. This is it. This is who we need. And so for that reason, today I will be officially endorsing Tulsi Gabbard.